PowerPDF offers a variety of methods for creating PDF files. In this training session, you will learn how to create a PDF file using a variety of techniques. You can make PDF files from virtually any electronic document, and our resulting files are fully compatible with other PDF viewers for reading, sharing, and printing. During this session, we will walk through several different ways to create PDF files. From the PowerPDF print driver, from within PowerPDF, using PDF Create Assistant, from Microsoft Office applications, or from within Internet Explorer. You will hear reference to PDF and XPS files, and some of you may not be familiar with the XPS term, so please note that XPS is a Microsoft PDF-like file type that we support throughout our product. So let's get started, and you can see just how easy it is. Printing to PDF using a PDF print driver is the most common method for creating PDF files. Using this method limits you to a single file at a time and prevents the conversion of object tags or other metadata commonly used in Office documents. To print from any application, use the Nuance PDF print driver. Let's see how this is done. We'll begin by opening a document in Microsoft Word. This option is to create a PDF file from any native application. What that means is that we will need to begin by having the file open in whatever application we created it with in order to create a PDF file. For this example, we are going to start with a document that was created with Microsoft Word. Once our file is open, we will select File, Print, and then select the Nuance PDF print driver from the list of available printers. Click Print. Select a location to save your file and name the PDF. You will also notice that I have checked the box next to View Resulting PDF, which will automatically open the PDF I'm creating once I've selected the location where I will save and name my PDF file. As you can see, the PDF has now automatically opened in Power PDF, and we can easily check our results. If you choose to uncheck this box, you will then have to navigate to the location where you saved your PDF and open the PDF file to check our results. Creating a PDF file is as simple as opening a file in Power PDF. Let's take a look. Open Power PDF. Within Power PDF, choose the File menu, then Open. Change the Files of Type field to All Files. Next, simply select the file you'd like to convert into a PDF, and in this example, I will select my businessplan.docx file and click Open. The PDF file will be generated from the Word document you selected. Power PDF offers a variety of PDF creation methods directly within the application. Click the new PDF menu item from within the file menu, then select one of the actions from the window pane to select the type of PDF document you want to create. For example, you will see several choices. From Scanner allows you to create a PDF file directly from a scanner attached to your PC. Or From File will give you four choices. The first choice lets you create a single PDF document from a selected file. The second choice lets you create multiple files. It launches the PDF Create Assistant to create multiple PDF documents from multiple source files. The third choice lets you combine multiple files. It launches the PDF Create Assistant to create a single PDF document from multiple source files. And the fourth choice lets you overlay multiple files. It launches the PDF Create Assistant to create a single PDF document by overlaying multiple source files. And from the clipboard, creates a PDF file from the content that is currently stored on the clipboard. Or a blank PDF provides a blank PDF page with which you can start adding content. And the Create a PDF Portfolio will generate an empty portfolio to add content to. For this training, we will select the option to create from File, 
and create multiple files. Note that selecting Combine Files into One PDF Document creates a file containing all of the pages from the selected documents sequentially in the order they are listed in the batch process. Overlay Files as One PDF Document will result in the creation of a single document, with the first file listed as the bottom layer and overlapping each of the pages of all the other files on top of it as additional layers. Okay, so you have two options. The first is to launch the PDF Create Assistant application directly by selecting Start, Nuance Power PDF, Create Assistant, or another option would be to launch PDF Create Assistant from within Power PDF. To do so, simply select the File menu, then New, click From File, and then select Combine Multiple Files. The PDF Create Assistant displays. Select the Add button to select the files you'd like to combine or merge into a multi-page PDF file. Then click Open. The selected files will now be added. You can move the order of the files up or down by selecting the file and using the up or down button to place the files in the order you wish them to appear in your resulting PDF. Click the purple Start button to create your PDF file. The Save As dialog box will appear. Choose your destination and name your file. Then click the Save button. The Create PDF window will be displayed and when the file is completed, select the Open Files to view your PDF file. We can also create PDF files from within Microsoft Office applications, such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. From within Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint applications, you have two options. You can either choose Create PDF or Create PDF and Email. With any Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or Outlook document open, click on the Nuance PDF ribbon. For this example, we will select the traffic.pptx document. Select the Create PDF button. This will open the Save As dialog box. Select a location to save and name the resulting PDF file. In this case, I will select my Working Documents folder and name my file traffic.pdf. Got a web page you'd like to save as a PDF? With one click, you can create or add to an existing PDF, create and send in an email, or create and send to a DMS directly from your Internet Explorer toolbar. Simply click the arrow beside the Power PDF ribbon icon and choose the type of PDF you wish. In this video, we covered several different ways to create PDF files. Now that you understand your options, you can choose whichever method will help you be the most productive.